Sniper in the tower. I'm spotting another tango. Here's target number five. I'm moving to position. You find a good position. Shit, I gotta find a good position. Target acquired. Roger. Standing target down. acquired. Ready. Call the shot. Opening fire on these fuckers. Okay, we're cool. I need you there. We'll go. That makes five. Tango knows somebody's got a beat on him. I'm getting a position. Target marked. Engaging. Hope for rebels to draw their attention. Go. Roger that. Hey. 
clear over here. Target's marked. Good to go. Fire. I'm shooting these fuckers. There's got to be some intel we can dig up around here. Move there. Copy. Hold your position. Call the rebels for a diversion. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. We're spread out too far. On the move.
Scheiße. Bowman, this is Nomad. We're on the ground in Okoro. What have you got for us? Okoro is the heart of coking production in Bolivia. The network there was built by El Yayo and predates Santa Blanca by more than a decade. When El Yayo joined the cartel and became the boss of production, he handed Okoro off to his grandson, who goes by the name El Emisario. The Emissary? He spends most of his time outside the province, rubbing shoulders with politicians in Sucre, and greasing the wheels for the cartel. Not really his job. But the guy's something of a charmer, and he figures this is the best way to make his grandfather proud. El Yayo lets it slide so long as Okoro continues to produce. Fact is, the network is so well established that it pretty much runs itself. El Emisario's assistant handles the rest. Get in there, gather intel on Okoro's production sites, and start fucking things up. That'll put pressure on El Emisario to come back to Okoro and get things back on track before Granddad finds out. When that happens, we grab him and use him to get to El Yayo. Getting an upload from Bowman. Looks like she's got some intel on Alan Misadio. You all know El Yayo, highest ranking Bolivian in the Santa Blanca cartel, and their head of cocaine production. But you may not know his grandson, Gonzalo Yana, AKA El Emisario, the emissary. Yayo taught Emisario everything he knows. How to produce the best polvo in all of South America, how to maintain relationships with the local Bolivians, and most importantly, how to serve your Santa Blanca masters. Emisario looks up to Yayo, would do anything to honor him, to make him proud, which is exactly what makes El Emisario the perfect target. His greatest fear is shaming his grandfather. If we hit his coke operation in Okoro, he'll come running back to fix things. That's when we grab him. With a little luck, he'll give us everything we need to know about dear old Grandpa. 